Zahal in the street, one day like I say, feel, come out, mad if you like, fish come out, feel. I'm sure, maybe what if they don't listen for me, for like, for you? Because, because I got that big girl that day, remember, and then I was like, I only listen for me to you. And the, the rest of you, I felt that out. Mr. Like. <laughs> she, she, she only listens for likes. <laughs> she listens for likes. For likes. Yeah. I would have to put around beat it in my life. Like, yeah. Like uh, the time I like uh, said like uh, this was like uh, this was like. All right, all right. Pardon my voice. I have a flu. Welcome to the podcast. Woo woo. Yeah. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Uh, episode three. This is the Listen Podcast. Um, this is a Make Life Worth Living campaign project. Uh, the best thing about this is just a group of friends having a conversation, random conversation about real things, right? That's what yeah. we're calling it. So randomly discussing real issues. Yeah. Um, also, we'd just like to say this is kind of like our group therapy because we have some shit going on on a day to day. So this is a nice time to vent, nice time to unwind. Yeah. Yeah. So. What's up, guys? How's the week? Yeah, you're saying this is group therapy, but apparently, like, some people are. Are we really gonna get it <laughs> right now? I think we have to. Yeah, we have, I think to. We have right, to. Right, right. Yeah. Some people aren't comfortable enough to. Yeah, the only reason I say there was group therapy was because of you, Miko. <laughs> apparently, you're going through some shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We all are. We all are. Yeah, oh, we, yeah, we all are. But yeah, I had, I had, a, uh, I had a pretty rough last week. I don't know, just out of nowhere, I got some. You know when you get unnecessary attention from people you really don't need and then it just messes up your entire mood? So it just kept going over my head over the, the next couple of days and I sort of picked myself up. Uh, that was what, Tuesday. So if I was low energies last week, ah, man, life is hard, man. Life is really hard. Yo, how's your week, OT? Um, better than Miko's, I guess. <laughs> Yo, is that, is that what... Is that what, is that what, is that what <laughs> Shots fired. No, no, no. Already. No, no. See, this is how people I, I, treat I like, people that are going through something. No, 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 no. No, you're getting the wrong idea. I, I like you opening up and actually saying you had a rough day. I feel like as as guys, we don't we don't have that freedom to like speak about our feelings that way. Uh, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So like uh, props to you, Miko, like for for speaking out. Is it, do you think it's because it's not manly enough? Or it's not considered manly enough? Yeah, man. Society is just a science, but I see. Like, masculinity. To say, yeah. be a real man. You don't, you don't speak about... Um, I think, I think yeah, it's yeah. called toxic masculinity. Yeah. I've, I've been hearing a lot of that. Term, man. I don't even know what to make of it at this point. All right, cool. Oh, you gonna you didn't really tell us about your week, though. Did you? I, I just said it was better than me, though. So. Oh, okay. okay. So. <laughs> you want to tell us about yours? Uh, sure, yeah. Um, uh, I guess I can stay my past two weeks because Miko talked about his last week as well. Uh, they've been pretty good. I've been wrapping up projects. Um, I went through my whole January without doing anything personal, like a personal project. So I'm glad I've wrapped out a few projects and I've started like posting on my Instagram again. So I'm glad. And I've also noticed, noticed like a lot of love from people, man. Like People really seem to love art and... It's good to the support that people are giving us on Twitter, Instagram, like that shit is dope. So please, people, keep posting, keep retweeting. Like we really appreciate that. So yeah, just yeah. yeah, great weeks. Um, uh, yeah. Cool. Shout out to I, our I, listeners. I'm going to sound so professional. Why? I know, I, man. I like yeah, that. yeah. <laughs> if, if this art thing doesn't work out, get a radio job, bro. <laughs> But yeah, um, yeah. Shout out to our followers. We don't take you for granted at all. Yeah. But I forgot to introduce everyone in the room. We have a big room today. Uh, OT, OT as usual, Miko as usual, yeah. uh, Kulu as usual, and Mac. Yeah. That's Mick. Mac. They, yeah, they always forget my name. Yeah, so I, that Mac. happened. Not uh, Mark. Not, not Mark. Mac with a K. Not McDonald. <laughs> not Mac with a K. Chris. Macmillan. N- yeah. But anyway, we also have Dust on the board. Is it? <laughs> on the phone. He's on, on the phone. On the, on the card. On the sound card. <laughs> yeah, on the sound card. Um, Chris in the building. Special appearance. He's never really been here when we're recording. Yo, thanks for coming, man. Executive producing. Executive producing. <laughs> Executive chef. If, you, if you're looking for a good meal, like yeah. a wholesome meal, check yeah. out my Instagram. You might find some photos. But if you're looking for a wholesome meal, find Chris. 
So those photos, uh, that was Chris cooking? Yeah, so no, if, if Chris is unavailable, yeah. talk, find Mac. And then, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm his number two. All right, let's get into it. So you, uh, Akulu talked about how we've been getting a lot of love, um, not only as Zaluso Arts, but the podcast as well has been getting some really good views. Um, but then there's a few things that we'd just like to not educate, but highlight in terms of like how you should approach listening to a podcast or how we think you could do it in a Malawian setting. Because we've also been getting a lot of like lashback in terms of uh, the size of the file and all of that. So, Miko, how would you advise a typical Malawian to listen to a podcast? Bro? Okay. First of all, a podcast is not a song or something that you, you give 100% of your attention to. I mean, we do say some interesting stuff. So, yeah, give us as much attention as you like. But it's a background activity. So, it's something that you listen to when you're driving to work, when you're doing some homework, when you're uh, cooking some meals with your, with your significant other. It's a background activity. It's... it's it, it's a room filler, right? So take some time and just put in the background. You don't have to sit down for a whole 30 minutes to an hour listening to one thing and not doing anything else. But it's just supposed to aid your day. So stimulate your mind to, to think something as you're doing something else. I like to listen to my podcast while I'm doing something that doesn't need me to think. Yeah. Like something that I can be on autopilot on. And then that's when it like just goes. And usually I get mad when like the podcast is about to end because now like oh man now I have to like start thinking of finding a new podcast or something so yeah, yeah it's definitely like a background activity yeah and, and for the um, for the size uh, we realized that you know some of the sizes were, were big and uh, from our listeners we see that we touched on the fact that Malawian internet is inaccessible so from here trash. on out we will make the file size smaller for you download folk who do not get that you're supposed to stream this because you're never going to listen to this again unless you yeah. really think we're <laughs> all that yeah, we, we, which we, we love we barely download them so yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's a big file to keep in your phone it's really long uh, would suggest that you stream over over downloading but if you really need to because I know network is an issue as well because yeah, some yeah. people only download because if they're trying to stream it keeps yeah. jamming and all of that so yeah take the advice yeah and, and, yeah. and we're available on several uh, platforms, uh, Spotify, SoundCloud, uh, soon to be on YouTube, and as well as our website, ZalusoArts.com. Uh, we're trying to get on iTunes, but um, yeah, Apple's a bit a bit difficult for, uh, for for people who show them so much love. I mean, we're we're hectic Apple users, but they they, they don't feel it's the same way. Oh, not all of us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also, like yo, people, please comment on ah, yes, the website yes, yes. or SoundCloud or wherever. Comment there or comment on the tweet or wherever you saw it, but not like on WhatsApp or in the DMs because we need those figures like in the website. Well, you know? How can we go about like encouraging people to comment? Can we like have a little promo thing to like encourage uh, people to comment? Cause yeah, we, we could give out some Zaluso gear mm. if you guys are up for Ooh, it. Oh, yeah. yeah, some of them best, yeah. Yeah, we have a lot of Zaluso gear that we could give out for that because um, I know a lot of the people feel that it's better that they tell you because you know not all the, not all the feedback is positive yeah. some of the stuff might be, might be negative but we're open to that so some of the yeah. people feel that well it might seem a little bad if they put that out on a public place yeah. but so they'd rather uh, send it to your private account or send it to your whatsapp but uh, we, we don't mind we don't mind that's constructive criticism yeah we'll yeah. take it as yeah. it comes but yeah all right so anything else to like add on to this, um, I just had one question. Uh, why do you, why do you think uh, people don't like sharing any feedback in public? Because I know I remember a point in school when somebody was telling me that, oh, yo, you know, this person likes your stuff, but this was someone who I would meet in the corridors, <laughs> and they look pissed. Like this person looks like man, this they probably don't like me at all. But apparently, they totally like my stuff. So, Excuse you know, what's my up French, with that? But, like, no one likes a dick writer. So, when you're in somebody's comments, when you're liking somebody, it just looks Wait, like. So, the stuff is, that is what? The dick? Is that what you're saying? Because he said a lot of, no one likes my, people like my stuff. Yeah. And then stuff was said so stiffly. Ah. Yes, yes. Nah, 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 nah. nah let's not. Nah. All right, okay. For, for a further comment, do slide into Akulu's DM. Oh. But yeah, no one likes a dick writer. No one wants to look like the person who's just like, yeah, I like your stuff and being a super fan or a groupie. But I, I don't if you know. really like something, tell somebody you do. 
Yeah, yeah, you know, I agree. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, true. But so, also, people just don't like expressing themselves on a public platform. Because yeah. so, yeah. even if you're in class, mm-hmm. and then people don't want to share in the conversation, they want to put their hand up, they would rather keep the yeah. right answer to themselves and stuff like that. It's, it's a confidence issue, probably. Uh, yeah, and, um, confidence, but as well, society. But it's, it goes back to what we're saying, firstly, to say just, mm-hmm. just the men being able to like open up. Oh, yeah. And then at a certain degree, it's like everybody else, you feel, yeah. if I comment, even though I like, I, yeah. I like the picture or I, I like the podcast, but then yeah. if I comment, it makes me like weak in some sort of messed up way. One, one thing that the, the people should understand is, uh, the one thing that I really like about school even is when they tell you that there's no such thing as a wrong answer. And then that's, that's exactly how we feel about your comments on this podcast. Uh, no such thing as a wrong answer. Say what you may. Speaking so, further about this podcast, were you, you're going to say something else? Yeah, like, for first guy to comment or first person to comment gets, gets a what, t-shirt. List them t-shirts. Uh, first Zalu Sogir. Uh, guess of Zalu Sogir. Zalu Sogir. List them t-shirt coming up. Did you say it was red? Yeah. Even I don't have a list them podcast. Yeah, t-shirt. Then, yeah, the first one to comment will get the first one. All right, cool, 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 cool. So, speaking further about our podcast, uh, we got major cloud, guys. Or at least I think so. So Chiwetel, the director of, uh, and the, he was in the movie as well, he was acting as well, the boy who harnessed the wind. Yeah. So um, you remember how when we started the conversation last week about the Chichewa and all of that, yeah. uh, OT was like, ah, you know what, this is too late, the trailer has been out for a minute. Yeah. But right after we did the podcast, that's when he responded. Okay. So I'd like to think he was kind of, you know, <laughs> I'd like to think he was like answering to us. Wait, what did you guys think? Did you, did you check it out? I, I mean, I, I saw snippets. So when I was looking at this, uh, this text that I, I got from you, where like, she would tell, I, I published this podcast. I was like, what? So they, this guy was listening to her stuff. And yeah, bro. That's what happened. That's for, exactly what happened. So he was on BBC Africa. And that, yeah. Backstory, please. He was on BBC Africa. You didn't see it? All right. No, All right, no. So, I, I know the clip from BBC. Like, it yeah. was like, uh, it was two minutes. So basically, he was um, b- b- responding to Malawians. Yeah. And uh, the podcast, because we contributed to the conversation. <laughs> so he was telling okay, them about okay. how uh, um, he knows that the Chichewa can be perfect, but yeah. he was just trying to tell the story. Yeah, and he was basically to, saying, you're yeah. not the target market. No, no. Come yeah, on. Basically, that's what he was saying. He was, he was saying, no. like, please. But he was bear, talking bear to Malawians. That, like, who, yeah. Who, a lot of people are going to hear this or, like, watch this movie who are not from Malawi. So at yeah. least take pride in the fact that we're telling a story, yeah. but then we might have like some compromises in the way the language has been used yeah. that we tried our best. Like yeah. That's what we're saying. Okay, cool. I think that um, in that he, he, the reason why he decided to talk to Malawians was also because I don't think it's a target audience thing. It's more of a numbers thing. Could he, okay, Malawians, yeah. you have this population. Uh, I know that we kind of messed up on the GJ1 stuff, but the whole world is listening, right? So yeah. let's, let's like take pride in the story, yeah. um, the depiction, the, the, the scenery, all of that stuff over just, you know, this one aspect that only your population like can perfect. Yeah. You understand? And I don't think there's a lot, I mean, obviously we haven't seen the movie, but I don't think there's, there's that much. It's dropping on the 1st of March on Netflix. Um, so, stream, so, streaming party? Yeah, let's, let's do it. Let's streaming do it. party. Who's invited? Co- commenters, comment on a podcast, uh, and we might man, invite you, know, you to the streaming I was, party. I was watching Insecure, yeah, let's, let's, and they have they had this thing. I guess it's normal in the states where it's like a, an open yeah, field. Grass, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then so we could. I don't know where we could do it here, but imagine that you just we, have, we have, a, we have a garden. We have a garden. We, yes. we have a yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it could be yeah, small. Yeah. yeah, let's do a streaming party. <laughs> streaming party coming up so, yeah. on the first of March, guys. This is how we do our things, real quick. Yeah. Event. Right right there, done. Just, Everything is ready. Yeah. We we don't need anything else apart from good internet, so that we can stream it proper. And you guys to show up. And you guys to show up. Yeah, yeah. get tickets at a very expensive price, like the, <laughs> like the Drake listening party last time. <laughs> but yeah, um, you know one cool thing that I saw about streaming as well is um, this this was gonna be an off topic thing, but then it's cool because we're already talking about it. So. Um, Mm, I was going to say, Game of Thrones is coming up, right? Yeah. And everyone's really excited and yeah. stuff like that. And yeah. it feels like, for most people, it's the greatest series or whatever. It's the best yeah. of all time. We, so might not all, yeah, we, might, we might not all feel it, but I just I thought it was the best until last week when I 
kind of got into Black Mirror proper. So I think Black Mirror is better than Game of Thrones. This guy, what? That's, that's what? No, that's my opinion. What do you guys think? Ah, uh, okay. Um, it's it's tough because they're both really good. They're yeah. both really good shows. I think it's hard to compare them because it's like it's different. Yeah. It's different. Yeah. It's they're different shows. So I don't know is if Black I Mirror could. Black Mirror, the one where it's like different story. Yeah. yeah. Look, it's dope. Episode. If you're telling like it's quality really wise, yeah. I think they're both amazing. Yeah. I th- okay, I think a better question is which one would you rather watch? If you yeah. gun to your head, you have to delete. Like you can't watch the other. Which one would you choose? I think yeah, but, I would but, choose. But, but I feel like like to make a Black Mirror is easier because no, no, it's, that's it's, not it's, what I's, I'm it's looking just, at, and that's not the question. Yeah. It's, if you were to choose what to watch, that's watch Game of Thrones. Yeah. Because but then but then it's hard to say because yeah. it's like. To watch Black Mirror, I can just pick an episode like from there. So yeah, that's season three. Yeah, the yeah. full experience, yeah. man. Like and, it's, it's like you need. Yeah, the and whole, for someone because you can't just start yeah. with season seven and then like. That's 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 a good point. Yeah. And for someone like me, I sometimes I'm just like, I'm, sometimes I don't want to be invested enough. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm really busy, so yeah. it's cool if I get to just watch something and it's really yeah. dope. And the only reason why I'm picking Black Mirror is because last week I saw my first ever interactive movie. Yeah. Dude, that shit is dope. Like, yeah? Yeah, it's border snatch or something. Yo, it's dope. It's like, so basically, you get to pick the options. So and, and when the scene comes, if the actor's about to like pick a song yeah. or something, they give you the options, and yeah. then you pick. So you click, and then the song actually comes on. So I know I fucked it up because like halfway in the movie, I had killed the main actor, and this? then the credits were rolling on Netflix. Oh, okay. So I was streaming it on Netflix. Yo, you guys should try it, bro. So like, it was a really subtle movie and all of that. And then at, towards the end, he's just sitting, he's, he's chilling with his psychiatrist or whatever. And then they're like... Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. I think you might spoil it for them. Okay, Because that, that was amazing. That was really yeah, amazing. Let me... Sp- yeah, yeah. I feel like, cause okay, I just cool. say spoiler alert. Funny, spoiler funny alert. I just right. canceled my Netflix last week. Shit, yeah, bro. Shit, but then that yeah. looks like... Uh, yeah, spoiler alert. Yeah, yeah. So basically, it's a subtle story the whole time. Yeah. And then towards the end, they just give you the option of like, uh, start a fight scene. And then you click that, and they go ninja mode, and everyone's fighting, and you're like, I caused this. So yeah, but, but I was just mad about how I had to go back a bunch of times because I had killed the guy so many times, and he's the main guy, so the credit starts rolling. So I made him jump off a building. So you're a serial killer? Not serial killer. That was you, my you, first you kill. Killed the guy that was my you, first kill. You just admitted that you killed somebody many times. That was times. my first kill. I need a I need a couple to like. <laughs> is, is that serious? You kill one person like nah, bro, a couple serious. of times. No, serious. It's serious. Like, serious. Not, not killing has different to accumulate. Yes. Yeah. Because you can't anyway kill one person two times. For, for <laughs> unless you're watching <laughs> unless you're watching an interactive movie. All right. So um. Hmm. Shall we do it? Do what? So anyway, I just want to say thank you for. Uh, Chidowell for responding to us yeah. for listening to our podcast. Next time, Listen use our podcast. names. You n- use our names: Miko, Mac, Ot, and Akuti. Akuti. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was funny. Atiku. <laughs> Atiku. <laughs> okay. Never mind. I was gonna respond, but it ain't worth it, man. No comeback. It ain't worth it. <laughs> all, right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, so, um, I think the past week. Online, there's been this lady, right? This woman. Apparently, her name is Zahara or something, and she's originally from Tanzania. The football lady. The football lady. Yeah. So she's been like killing it. She's she's been doing like all these street moves, all these like football skills that none of us here can do. Um, And she even got a retweet from Trump, apparently, where he was like, "Donald Trump." Quoted tweet. A quoted tweet. Yeah, where he was like, "This is amazing." amazing. So, yeah, and then there was a conversation about the, the tweet that he said was amazing. Uh, the caption was, uh, let me get it, let me get it. The caption was, talent is evenly distributed, but opportunity isn't. What do you guys think about that? It's true. So, there's some people who are mad talented. Like, if you go to the, the rural areas, especially in Malawi, you find some really talented people. Uh, same thing with the whole uh, the boy who won this win the William Kamkwamba movie where that's a, somebody who's extremely talented, uh, but was opportunities were were not available for people around his area. So there might be somebody who's as good or even smarter than he is, yeah. but they will never get the chance to be as great as as he is because talent is not. I mean, opportunities are not, you know, 
provide that even for us the yeah. people who are more talented than we are yeah. who've who can create better content than we can create but yeah. we're found in the right places at the right time and look at where we are so i feel like being found at the right place at the right time okay that's i'm just trying to hammer a whole other side of the story yeah i don't want to i don't want it to be one sided i totally agree with what you're saying yeah but i'm just thinking that don't you think that sometimes opportunity kind of knocks on the door for most people you, you know what i mean like no matter where you are in the world because yeah, you just and you can see, even you use this woman as an example yeah. could he she, she's from lord knows where but someone took a video and that's her opportunity knocking you know what i mean yeah. we 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 have we might have grown up in a way where people think uh, you get opportunities but we never get a trump retweet yeah so like just just to add on to what you're saying it's i feel like it's about persistence more than anything cuz opportunity will, will come eventually to if, if you're talented if you stick to what it is you're doing because i'm sure like this this lady i'm sure like coming from where she, she's coming people told her like you're wasting your time with this let's say football football stuff what what, what are you doing you're wasting your time but then i'm just i'm just praying for her like with this amount of do you pray ot <laughs> now that, that was figuratively speaking ah, yeah like but then i do i do pray yeah but yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> before I sleep, uh, uh, God, please bless. So What's wrong with that? I'm just. I'm, just nah, I'm not doing it. You know There's nothing wrong with it's it. Just being honest. I'm just not right, doing right, it. Right, yeah. Right, but right, then, yeah, right. I just hope she gets. She gets something substantial of all of this, like virus. Uh, I think, um, and I agree with everything everyone everyone said. I think that when you can't, when you can't. Um, like it's the whole thing about not being not being in someone else's shoes right yeah. so like we've lived our lives and we don't know what it's like to be somebody else especially and i'm going to focus on women here yeah. especially like like a, yeah being a girl like i know girls who like just a, just like a few weeks ago someone was telling me how like she just wanted to go outside to buy units yeah. but then you know some car uh drove slowly behind her you know and i've been in i've been in a car that's, like that that's, that's before that's creepy uh, what? That, you that, the one that's no, creepy. no, I wasn't the one driving. It was my homies. But I've been in that situation before where, like, there's a girl in front of us and I'm like, hey, I slowed on the car, slowed on the car. And then we're driving slowly behind her. And that's, like, that's scary shit. But then from the other perspective, it's, like, it's cool. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to expose you, you, you but like, to you. <laughs> yo, man, you, you guys are acting like you've never done this. Like, yeah. this is the whole... Because it's not... It's <laughs> not <laughs> That, no, it's it's the whole it's the whole. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Someone hold on. call the police. Hold on, let me let me finish. Let me finish. I call Kelly. <laughs> let me finish. Let me finish. It's the whole like because it happens all the time with like yo, there's a hot girl there. Slow down, and I think a lot of girls feel uncomfortable when like okay, this car is clearly driving slower right next to me. Anyway, I'm missing. I'm missing. I'm missing my point. So yeah. So. There are a lot of little tiny things that we can't relate to, yeah. but yet other people get like they're really oppressed. Yeah. And I think because of that, it's hard to. It's easy to say these things. We're like, no, you know, if you put in the work, there's an opportunity yeah, everywhere. So if you put in the work, some some people are still like they ready to tear you down. They're, they're yeah. not. They're, ro- they're robbing those opportunities. And, and even what he's talking about, goody women, they 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 probably in a. Uh, they're not as privileged or the, the opportunities are less because of the... I think he's trying to say they're expected to be a certain type of person. Like, this woman is probably expected to be cooking or in the kitchen, looking at, like, her background and stuff. But then if she's persistent and if she goes against the norm, I think that, like, you you still have to do that. I've I've personally grown up with, like, super women who are, like persistent i've seen my mother in a room full of men and she owns the room and shit like that so i th- i think it's up to just everyone has to know even where i am I-, i could be a guy i could be a woman i could be anyone i'm not going to be the best at what i do and i'm not going to always be of a better privilege there's always someone better than me but i have to work if i have to work twice as hard as them to get there then do it Yeah. you're always going to like have that situation no matter how rich you are there's always going to be a competition and you have to be persistent and you have yeah. to push you have to go yeah. for the kill yeah, yeah. To, to agree with that to say like maybe to agree and a bit disagree like what's wondering <laughs> cuz <'Cause laughs> I, 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 yeah, yeah i feel like like this woman we're talking about i feel like if the skills she's showcasing if she were a guy 
I, I don't think she would have gotten this much. Clout. Yeah. Because with a guy, you expect the guy to like have talent in football. So I think it helps her in the fact that she's wearing a Chitenji mm. and Jani. So the look is, it's like, you can't associate like with football skills yeah. and the way she's looking. It's like, that's the reason why it's, it's viral. Because yeah. I feel like there's plenty of guys yeah. who can do the juggling she was doing. Because I don't yeah. think, I don't feel like that was like advanced next level shit. Yeah. It was, okay, not basic, but then it wasn't like, none of us can well. do that shit. Yeah, yeah. None of us can <laughs> do it, but I feel like there are, pe- there are people yeah. in Malawi here, many of them yeah. who like, can't do that so just a point to what you're yeah, saying true. Yeah, and, and I like the fact that you mentioned the fact that she was, she was an issue and if you haven't seen this video just go up just go to Donald Trump's uh, 100 tweets and find yeah. it within the, the <laughs> mix but I like the fact that she, she was in there in Itchy Danger just showing that even in a situation where Itchy Danger is uncomfortable you yeah. know like you, your legs can't move oh, you tried you it like, I've been I've done some acting in my day where I've had to, <laughs> Take your time, bro. <laughs> Take your time. Let's hear it. Yeah, you know, uh, I've, in my days as a young actor, back ah. back in the day, you know, I wore a chitin, and my legs couldn't move, and I can't juggle with three legs in boxer shorts. Now, this is a lady with her legs tied, and uh, this she was quite big as well. So you're not light on your feet, but she was doing an amazing job, which just shows that the restrictions that you have don't really stop you from achieving the things that you really want to achieve. If you're determined. If you're determined, you'll get it. You'll you'll get it done. You'll get it done. And all we have to do is support. So this retweeting, this sharing, this talking about it, even like shout out to Donald Trump. I mean, not bad for a shithole country, right? Yeah. Yeah. So even what OT said about how it helps her image because she's a woman and because of what she's wearing. For example, there was the time when we had a all all female uh, flight. There was a flight being flown. I don't know what words to use here, but basically the whole flight staff were, were all women. And then um, that was a big deal. It went all over. The, it, w- it went all over social media that this is the first Malawian all all women flight, Chantani. And then one guy told one guy was against that because he said that once you make it an all women, once you put the text that this is an all women, chan, 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 just yeah, like, no, for example, if you say this is a woman football player, or if you say this is a, a, a female DJ, then, then you're, you're kind of bringing the females down because you're trying, you're implying that they shouldn't be at that level. You understand? So he was, his argument was treat her as a normal person because that's what equality is. Treat her as a normal person and say this is a all man, all, all, Person, yeah, flight. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I get, I get where that point hinges on, but then just, just to say, like, um, with the, like I just said, like with, with the woman, eh? the football woman. If she was a man, I guarantee it, like she wouldn't have like gotten this much virus data. So I think like it's, it's an issue of equality and what equity. So like with equality, if you're saying just as a football player then there, there is no reason why we should give all of this attention to this particular yeah, woman. Yeah. But then if we're talking about equity, to say, okay, of the females that we know in the country, in Africa, yeah. who would be able to do this? And yeah, that's yeah. the only reason why we're, we're giving her all of this yeah. attention. I so think... Gender equity is what we're looking for. Yeah. Equity. I think also... So doesn't hold on. Nah. The, yeah, it's, I think... It's, it's, okay. okay. I think also it's important to acknowledge like these because when you when you give someone like that attention mm. you're acknowledging something yeah. which is the fact that yeah. certain people are oppressed yeah. now when you start fighting against that I think it's a problem that no you know it's, yeah. we're all equal but yeah. like that's just not the truth I think when you say stuff like when you shine a light on this you're showing that yo mm. women like yeah. aren't given that much attention when it comes to football yeah. and I, I remember there was a thing that came up a while ago about how in some Asian country women had just gotten the right to drive. Yeah. Now, yeah. If, you, if you said like, oh no, but they're also human, everybody drives, yeah. why are we saying women? Like you're ignoring the fact that, yeah. you know, these women are oppressed. Yeah. So yeah, kind of just, just to yeah. add on what, what he's saying, which is absolutely correct, to say, in order to like, ultimately achieve gender equality, we have to at first go with gender equity. To say, because women have been in an oppressed situation from historically so to just say we treat them equally right now there is no way they're going to catch up so yeah. like there has to be what do you call it is it affirmative action to say for now 
we make it easier for them to like because yeah. they have generations to catch up on yeah and then eventually we're going to like achieve the equality so is this why um this, this is some bullshit but <laughs> is this why if there's some heavy lifting involved <laughs> gender equality doesn't exist in- <laughs> Is that is that it? Are you, cause so they I, catch I, that is something to talk about. Cause 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 you can talk We're about back how to the gym now? we talk because <laughs> we can talk about how um, yeah you know on the main stage fighting for this shit. But then when it's yeah on the main stage we're fighting for this for this like feminism. But then yeah when it's like now oh can you carry these things for me? It's like ah, but. Shouldn't so you man. be able to, You shouldn't you? Yeah, why am I carrying? Because I'm the man. What, what's that? I shouldn't be. I have to. I carry think it's just misconception. Because I've seen like uh, I was at the gym what, three three months ago. <laughs> the last time three I was years there, ago. Three three uh, three <laughs> decades ago, probably <laughs> the, by the way I'm looking right now. But anyway, I, and we were seeing some. Um, There's a poster about heavy lifting, and I didn't show up. But the people in the gym were talking about how, oh, yo, man, we saw some ladies doing some deadlifts, and they'll carry some stuff that no one in here. Is carrying right, yeah. and these were some tiny women, you know, who in the in the normal world people are like nah, d- don't even bother. They won't do anything. But it's like that whole you have to understand what's what's really going on. So if you if you're if you're gonna decide that no, uh, if there's a room full of men, uh, I want to be given uh, an equal chance to speak. Yeah. But at the same time, if there's heavy lifting and I'm gonna let the men do it, that's not right. Yeah. Yeah. We need to un- the late. I, I, I hate to say this, but the 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 women also need to understand that, like, you also have to share some of the responsibilities, right? Yeah. So there's some things, yeah, men well, so are with equality, to take... So with equality comes the same equal responsibilities as well, right? Yeah. So that, that, then that's perfect. That's, that's, I think that's a great conclusion to this. Um, don't you guys think? Yeah. Or anything else? No, I, th- I think that's, that's right. We, we really have to... The women really have to take some responsibility for some other things, and we yeah. have to take some responsibility in yeah. making sure that they get some equal uh, opportunities as well. Okay, I think it just boils down to like there are other things, like just by the way you were born, like it's easier for a woman to do, or like a woman is born to do this. Yeah. For example, breastfeeding, even though no, with I equality, can't, we can't handle yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, yeah. I'm, but I'm there's the compartment. So it's just, it's the same thing with the hormones, like testosterone. Like men are generally built better, will have more strength than a woman. Like but, equally, but the gym them. thing just proved that some women are stronger than even the football thing. Yeah, it's some. So, so some you, you have. I think it's just what you, you built. Like uh, someone can be built to be strong, and because yeah, so, so some niggas like are weak, yeah. some niggas are weak. <laughs> so it's just human. Anyway, I'll, I stopped yeah, you. Yeah, Go on. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, it's cool. It's cool. It makes sense what you're <laughs> saying. But Sorry. then, okay, like all things being constant, like disregarding. The outliers, because they'll always be, in everything that you say, they'll always be like some that are not following the general rule. But I'm just saying just, just to get like the, the general, uh, a typical woman, a typical man, the typical woman is better at like caring for, <laughs> before you cut me off, caring for an infant, like you're better if you're female, caring for an infant, like man... <clears throat> Oh. Manual, <laughs> manual. Take your time. Yeah, I'll, I'll take my time. I, 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 I know. No, 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 no. I just feel like yeah, it's you know, it's easier for for a guy to like do the heavy lifting than it is for 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 a woman. But then, man, that's okay. just me. Okay, I can't like I can't shut down your belief. Yeah. But personally, what I believe is that all these things are learned. Apart from giving birth, I think everything else can be learned. Like taking care of someone. Being strong, I think, like that's just my belief. It just comes I think down to the everything, thing, everything yeah. can be learned. I think if we had come from a background where, for some reason, mm. women were the ones hunting and we were the ones foraging, maybe they give birth and then There's they some, go out and we take. Like that, yeah. yeah. So I think it's just learned. Sea I think seahorses do that. Seahorses. Seahorses. No, no, not animals. Even like with with people yeah. where um, I mean, for the people who argue the whole nature yeah. thing, there's some, there's some like even um, lions. We we, we want to be strong like lions, yeah. but the lion, the lionesses, and the ones that go out and hunt and do the protecting of the pride, the the yeah. lion just chills. Even in in, Mal- in Malawi, you have uh, you have communities where the the mother takes lead of the house and and yeah. the household. So the matriarchal place as well. The basically the guy is just. He's just a guy. He's a stay at home dad. He's a right. stay at home. So, like, there's a conspiracy theory which goes yeah. like, at 
like there was a time where the society was actually Montreal. that's the birth of Nyao in it yeah like, like so is that like what you're talking the, about Oh, sure my bad, can, my bad. I'm I'm I was sure gonna go about. deep, but we'll talk about this another time. Yeah. Oh, you wanna hear? Because what's, what's up with this guy and this whole mask Atiku, and you Atiku, bro. What's up, bro? <laughs> anyway, go on. It's yeah, yeah. Like, yeah like, like I saw it somewhere to say like there was a time where women like, yeah, like Mister Like. <laughs> <laughs> now people like it, so like yeah, they like I, it. I can't help it, like yeah. So like there was a time where like women ruled, like it was. It was a what, what do you call it, matriarchal society. Yeah. yeah. Where like we had to we the, still the have men. Some, some yeah, the places. men had to like, like. What, they they what pack their it? things. Basically, if you're getting married, they pack their things and then they move to the woman's uh, land. And nah, then and then nah, also that, apart from that, that's apart from just the, matrilineal, that's just marriage. But I mean like yeah. like the way we we see right now, yeah. to say the men are like in a in power positions and yeah. women are oppressed. Yeah. Like there was a time in history where it was women who were in those power positions mm-hmm. and the men were oppressed. It was just a okay, it's a, comp- a conspiracy theory, but then yeah. it just sort of stimulates your brain and, and makes you think that maybe it's possible because history changes depending on who's ruling. Yeah, definitely, definitely. All right, so conclusion. Responsibility. Let's just responsibility, be responsible. key word, responsibility. And I think just, yo, just work twice as hard as anyone else if you want to achieve what you want to achieve. Word up, to, word up. No, no matter like who you are, where you come from, I feel like opportunity you one day knock and then it's about like how you how you answer that yeah. that call. It's um you have to be aware that this is opportunity knocking, and then how you answer that call, that's gonna make the difference. Luck right? is what yeah. preparation meets opportunity. Yeah, and you you just have to take your head on. Lil Wayne said some funny line was that when opportunity knock, I ran out the back door because I thought it was the cops. Like, don't be scared of the opposition. Just go for it. Go for it. Was that inspirational or was it just because it was a low end run? Because I, I don't know. I don't. I just had to say it. I just had this to say guy. It. This guy. All right, Miko. I have a question for you. All right. So you're the youngest one here. Yeah. But like, so uh, Kulu and I yesterday were driving from Leonde. Was that yesterday? Uh, two days. Two ago. Two days ago, we're yeah. driving from Leonde, and we had this. We were a bit lit, but we had this heated argument a bit. about <clears throat> a, a little, a tidbit, you a know, tad bit, a tad bit. Miko's always throwing shade, man. Why, yeah. why can't I be lit? Oh, in the middle Akulu, of the week? Oh, Akulu. oh, yo, yo, anyway, yo, 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 yo. yo. Akulu anyway. has a drinking problem. Man. <laughs> we'll, we'll discuss that in episode four. <laughs> yo, but yeah, yeah. If you're going through anything, this is the space to you know. I'm all good. Alcohol is not the answer. I'm all good. All right, so yeah, sure, buddy. Um, so the the discussion was yeah, older women, mm-hmm. yeah, dating yeah. older girls, over dating Wait, younger girls. A- ask that again. Well, what would you prefer to date older girls versus dating younger girls? And uh, let me let me just define what we mean by older and younger because all of us are around, you know, uh, mid twenties, yeah, early twenties. So, kids. yeah, nineties kids. 90s so kids. for us, honestly, older means older than us. I think. Yeah. Um, in my case, I, I any I've never really I don't know uh, twenty. Let's put it at twenty four. Okay. 24, 25, above. That's older women? That's older women. And, old, oh, you know, here's a better way to put it. Um, let's say college or early college graduate over um, someone that's been out of college is, like, working on a career and stuff like that. Who would oh, you rather date? They're both hectic. I'll, I'll admit to that. They're both hectic. College girls are hectic and in their own way because they're, they're dealing with college guys. So we were once college guys and we're... Um, Trying to be the cool kids. Well, when you're the career, trying. Uh, I mean, we're all the cool kids, but you know, you're putting in. Uh, you're, uh, you're putting in uh, <laughs> <laughs> Nico from 25, the cool kid from college. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I've got a Google Drive of photos if you want evidence. But anyway, <laughs> yeah. Can we put one of those photos as a issue as DP for the next podcast? Sure, sure. Yeah, we we'll, we'll have, we'll have a flip through. We we'll have a flip through. Uh, let's see what's appropriate. <laughs> But I yeah, and all the women, you know, I, I was recently, I don't know how to put it, uh, in cahoots with an older woman. And she's got her own stresses, you know, because she's she's looking at me as a younger man who's, I mean, I've, I've got my life sort of kind of kind of a little bit figured out. But she's dealing with other men who've got cars, who've got houses, who've got plans of being children. And you have Basically to... Basically, fi- a guru. 
No, but yeah, go on. Yeah, anyway. Yeah, so you, you're dealing with... Uh, you, that's what you're fighting against. So right, she's Can seeing you as a child car? because you're not okay. you're not at that level, <laughs> but you have to you have to step it up. So I'd rather see an older woman. I'd rather see an older woman because she's 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 got to the point where she can reason, she can understand what you're about, what you're doing. Right. And oh, do you hear us, man? Tell us, tell us, please. Like like please. I, I wouldn't like date that. a college girl for a shit, man. Nah, that's fact. Like. That's just that's just no, it. Like don't, some of them are mature. Nah, man. Like, man, I I I, I was at college, man. So I, <laughs> I know the shit that goes on there, man. Like I'll yeah. wait to say, okay, okay right tell now. Tell us some of the things. Yeah. yeah. Nah, <laughs> nah, nah, man. <laughs> I said I I am aware of the shit that uh-huh. goes on uh-huh. there. Not 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 I was the one doing the shit. I'm just saying I'm aware, I'm aware of what goes on at college. All right, buddy. So like, I, I, would, I, would, I, would, I, would, I wouldn't date a Mr. college Street. girl. Right, right now. All right, now. yeah, okay. So what are the so, type of things that... Yeah, so like there are options. Uh, what are the things like that go on then? Yeah? What are the things that go on? Like in college? Yeah. <laughs> that, that would stop you from dating a college girl, basically. <laughs> Come on, come on. Chief, you just Chief, asked Chief. Nico to open okay, up. Okay, yeah, yeah. I will, uh, no, it's, it's, not, it's not even opening up. I'm, yeah. I'm just going to say, like, yeah. I call it, it's, it's promiscuity. It's just... All of it? That's it? Yeah. Every girl? Come on. It's not every girl. It's like the girl you'd want to date. Like, because when, when you want to date someone, there's already, like, <laughs> criteria that they have to, like, pe- like you, you won't just date anybody. You're yeah. choking me. That? Nah, I'm not joking. Why, why, why are you taking a picture? Are you taking a video? All, all I'm saying is, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah don't nah, I'm that's, not going to date a cool. college girl. Basi, period. So, uh, this is this is got awkward because Akul is dating a college girl. Yeah, I was about to get on <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, t- let us know, man. Tell us. Yeah, it's tell cool, us. it's cool. I, like, I totally understand where you guys are coming from. Yeah. Like, I totally agree with um, OT. Yeah. Because, um, yeah, I mean, I know what happens in college yeah. and it's weird. Um, and I... This is just one college. No, I mean, in, 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 in general, yeah, I think, okay, in, what, what, I, what, I'm, what I'm thinking, what I'm thinking is, um, when you're in college, it's a place, it's a place where, it's a, yeah, it's, yeah, experiment, you know, experiment here. And even, even myself, like, I wouldn't, just thinking of dating, man, I can't say this shit. I, okay, can, can I ask you this? Can I, can I ask you this? Can I ask you this? Let, let, me, let me ask you this. They say, how, how do you feel... You, your girl being out there in college. So she's she's a college girl yeah, and yeah, there's yeah. college guys around her and you're all the way out here, you well, know, I'm four out hours here. away <laughs> doing your thing and she's out there being a college girl. She's being a young age, she's living her well, best life the way, to her understanding. Yeah, that's, and I'm living my best life to my understanding. I wouldn't want to like limit somebody yeah, and I wouldn't want to feel limited true. by somebody. True. So I kind of like that space yeah, yeah. Yeah. and if anything, like you're getting fucked up, oh, whatever, man, I don't know. Get yeah, but, but also, <laughs> hold on, Wait, man, what? that's going to be censored out. I missed that. But no, only, uh, 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 okay. No, 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 this, this is the, the content convers- this is that we want. We ourselves. ourselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, no, yeah. I mean, um, people make it, I, I know they say college, the best years of your life, whatever, but you guys are making it seem as if uh, they're being chased by college guys, therefore, blah, blah, blah. But you should understand that you're an out of college guy. You know, you know what I mean? You've been a college guy. You graduated from being a college guy. So whatever you are right now, it, it doesn't have to be worse. You know what I mean? It could be better. In, in now, all, all I'm saying is, man, when I was in secondary school, man, uh, our headmistress, Mrs. Miranda, bless her soul, oh, out of sight, out of mind. Like, this is, this is okay, this is just me. I'm not, I'm not saying this, like, specifically to say, I know, like, you're, like, with... Everything will be treated differently, as I always say. To say you can't generalize anything. And I'm just saying, in my perspective, to say it's trust. Trust. As long as you have the trust, it's okay. You 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 can do whatever you want. But then I I would just have trouble myself trusting a college girl. <laughs> and I, I feel that. like trust tr- trust is essential if you're gonna be in. A, that makes sense. Yeah. I I think an interesting thing is how. Um, Girls, okay, like our age. Girls our age want to date older guys. Yeah. So, so you can't date a girl yeah. your age because yeah. yeah. she wants she to. Be, to yeah, be you older, just yeah. have. So it's kind of like, oh man, I guess we just have to go for the younger girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And <laughs> well, I mean, that's so that's okay. Thing. That's okay. Yeah. I don't mind. 
here's, the, here's the thing that's I need I, I know we've been like we spent the last ten minutes trashing the college girls or whatever, but think about the older girls as well. They're also like uh, being pressured by whoever yeah. the parents, the relatives yeah. uh, on like TV Nalit. TV Nalit. Where when are you gonna like show us a man? When are you getting yeah. committed? And all of that. So I think that then that pressure also trickles down to you as the guy. So that's not something that I want right now as yeah. well, where I'm in a situation where I'm being pressured to get yeah. married. I think you just need a mutual understanding between the guy and the girl. So mm-hmm. if, if, you're, if you're dating a college girl or a younger girl, if you're, I mean, if for the girls, if you're dating an older guy or a younger guy, it's just understanding, like, what do we want from this? What is the end goal? How 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 far in the future the are we looking? The relationship that we want ourselves. Yeah, is, is, is this. So you, from the start, you need to set. What I think a huge problem is, we all start just hooking up, and then we're like, I, I guess we're in a relationship. And then halfway through the year, you're like, oh, so, so where's this going? And then that's when the, the misconception comes. But from the start, if you understand, like, right, I'm dating a, a college girl. I'm dating a, a younger guy. I'm dating whatever. This is what I want. This is where I'm going. I think... All of that won't matter because you know how to trust them, how much trust to give them, um, how much legroom to give them, and whatever. But understanding oh, from... That just came out a little dirty, bro. Yes, legroom? Leg, leg room is crazy. In, the, in, this, in this type of conversation. It's dirty. It's leg dirty. <laughs> dirty day. Yeah, but like, um, just, just to... Like, before you come in, yeah. like, I, I just like your sentiment to say it should be between... like It's two people. You should know... What do you want from the relationship? Because what I hate is like using a template of yeah. this is what a relationship should Amen. be like. This Amen. is this is what consists of oh, a relationship. This is some deep shit. If, like, if, yeah, if it's like between it. you guys and you have an agreement, then it's okay. Who cares what done then then whatever whatever else is happening? Yeah. Yeah, which I was actually just about to bring up that point because that's yeah. what the guy. Are you? Where are you? Let really? me finish, man. Niggas, man. <laughs> it's crazy. These niggas. Yeah, yeah, we because that's I think that's the conclusion that we came to on yeah. two days ago when we were having the trip. Yeah. That like, yo, nobody knows what yeah. the relationships, it's all crazy. Nobody yeah. knows. So it's gotta be like just an agreement. Yeah. And even then, even if you start and you're having an agreement, yeah. you you don't even if I meet a girl, I don't know what I want. Yeah. She doesn't yeah. know it. So yeah. it's like it's really a growing and whatever yeah, learning. yeah but yeah. i mean that's cool how he said he doesn't know what he wants a lot of us don't uh how do you then agree on what you what your terms and conditions are if y'all have no idea uh from the start no like just if you don't know what you want tell them straight good you know i don't know what i want if if it's just dating and we're just having fun let's date if we're just hooking up let's hook up until you're at a point where you're like, you, you meet somebody serious. Because sometimes you meet somebody and you're like, from the jump, you know what you are. This person's looking for something serious. You just get the vibes. You read the thing before you, you even have that conversation. I don't you, know. I don't get vibes. I don't understand any clues. Vibes, any, clues, all of I that. Don't, I don't that understand energy. any, you, any you walk symbols, into a any and signals. And just, uh, just, man, this whole expectation that people should, everybody should just be able to read body language. Like, that's cool. That's like, I wish. No, but, I, but, then, but then, before you have that conversation, you should be able to say, Okay, uh, this girl feels me. This guy feels me, right? Let's have this. Yeah, you, you, I, I get. I get. I get that. I'm just. This is a general like shout out to yeah. people who just expect that. Yeah, Yo, man. this guy who's gonna know read yeah, my signs. Yeah, yeah. But some the, like the some people, you know, like you know, their personally, I cannot read. I, I can. I still remember like from first year, like e tari chatu. <laughs> said, For real, that, bro. Isn't that the worst? Like, like, you're, like you guys, like six years later, you're like ah. I used to like, like I you. I used to like you. And like, I know you didn't. No, you what didn't. No, you didn't. No. Do you she remember? Do you remember that time in class when I asked you if you had a spare pen? <laughs> like, and I, no, like, yo, that's no. the, that's that's what I like you means. Then you probably like a bunch of people, right? Yeah, and I think, uh, like, I hate to, you know. Ah, it's the getting story and shade, but women do this a lot. Like I've been seeing this whole men are trash thing on Twitter for the last I don't know yeah, since, well, since Twitter. But it can, apparently, it went quiet during Valentine's. It went quiet during Valentine's <laughs> or before Valentine's <laughs> because people were expecting things and you know we didn't read the signs and I, we're in trouble. But you know, there's a lot of men are trash people, and a lot of the men are trash people usually come. It usually comes from people who don't communicate. Like, tell me what you want. Tell me what you're expecting. Tell me what vibes you're reading. Or just just ask me why are you here, and then if if I give you a trash response, then you know 
go around saying men are trash. So or me, I'm that. trash. But don't say men are trash before you've asked for my opinion or asked for what I want or even had that conversation. Just a quick point. Um, I have strong opinions about the whole men and trash movement. I think it goes do. way deeper than just relationships. Uh, that's what I'm going to say. I think it's a topic for another day. We should probably have a topic about this. So, but do you think that um, communication-wise, uh, like what, what do you want in this relationship? Do you think the relationship between our president and our vice president was the same? Where like they got into a relationship. Yeah, segway. Oh, segway. Oh, <laughs> That was a smooth ass transition, bro. Yeah, I'm, getting, I'm getting better at this. Man. And I'm your host. I'm your host, Mac the Mac. But yeah, basically, basically, yes. Um, do you think that they, they they had expectations coming into this relationship or whatever? They yeah. they they didn't communicate right. One person the was expecting. Are fighting right now. Exactly. And there's this thing where um, they didn't communicate, and then one person comes out. So we entrust. As, as a nation or the votes or whatever, they entrust these two guys to work together. And then um, the vice president is like, you know, I, I don't like how this is going. I can't do this anymore. And then he leaves, right? And then now for the past few months, for, the, for like half a year or more, we have not really had an active vice president because our vice president has been going against our president. So my political science lecture always used to say, when elephants make love, the grass suffers. And when elephants fight, the grass still suffers. So we're out here, we're the grass. What the fuck is going on? What the fuck is going on? Um, so is our vice president the real deal where he's trying to get out of a toxic relationship or is he just a backstabber who's like, nah, you know, fuck this shit? Okay, what I heard was, like, initially there was an agreement to say... Um, rumors. Yeah, no, no okay. that's all I can get we off. Can't verify, like, yeah, we that, can't verify. That, that's anything. the only information I, I have, and I have to work with yeah. that because there was no official statement from either party. Yeah. So yeah, from what I heard was there was an agreement to say, okay, big man, you will serve for the first five term, yeah. five five years, and then I'm gonna come in. I'm gonna step in because you'll be like eighty or something, yeah. and then eighty the, plus. Yeah, the guys, the guys that are, yeah, the helpers of the elephant were like, nah, big man, if, if you step down, so they were against, like, a um, man like Saulo's coming in. Yeah. But then, just to say, the vice president, like, the first, like, the first year that he was given, he was given, like, the public reforms, public reforms agenda. Yeah, mm-hmm. he like our prof- like he, he did pretty well. Like they had to like because he was gaining so much, so much clout. Yeah, I've never used that word before, so I'm like yeah, running I know away you from keep, it. You keep yeah, like, I keep trying running not away to from it. it. Yeah. But then yeah, so like he was gaining so much clout from like the public reforms um, success. They had to like move him off of it because yeah. the people were like ah, this yeah. guy will like be troublesome. Yeah. so I feel like like. He, the guy's a performer. He's an achiever. Like he's a winner. I You're f- getting paid for this. That's what I feel yeah. like. I'm just saying. Like it was a question, and I, yeah. I'm just giving you my thoughts. Yeah. So why would you take down a performer? I'm just asking. I'm just throwing this question out yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, do we? Is is it a is it a power struggle thing that like we feel like if somebody's doing well, they might come up, up under us and take over? Or yeah, exactly what I was. Yeah. Man, but is yeah. it is, is it also a thing where you have you have a leadership structure, right? Yeah. Uh, and then. Um, uh, and then you you hear people saying, "Hey, you know, you know, what? you're you're really good at what you do." And then you start thinking, "Hey, I think that I could take over this." And and I know it's it's been like that in ancient times. I think that's how like that, that's how Lucifer that's how, fell. That's that's how exactly. That's, yeah. So um, do is that is that the best way to work things out, or do you need to like wait your turn or whatever? I know there's the agreement, but yeah. I, I'm just trying to look at it from the different angle of. Yeah. I'm I'm here. I'm campaigning to to get this man in power, whatever. We're a team, yeah. and then out of nowhere, fuck this guy. We, he's his trash. Even though that that was my team. Yeah. And then this was okay. You gonna answer that? Okay. I th- okay. For my vague understanding of the situation, I I think it was one of those things where this guy's actively trying. Yeah. But it's like, wait, these guys don't really want things to change. They don't want things to happen yeah. because. In in my personal opinion, if if you, if I tell you to do something and you're overachieving, which is very rare here in Malawi, yeah, yeah. I'd be like, dude, keep, keep at it, keep, at, keep it, at it. Yeah. In fact, if you want more responsibility, because that means less yeah, for me, yeah. go ahead, bro, yeah. do it. 
Yeah. But I think it's the whole who do people respect? Yeah. You know, at the end of the day, if 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 you're the man in charge, people still recognize that you're the man yeah, in charge. Yeah, yeah. The pay and especially if you're also performing on your yeah. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. if if you see that your employees or the people that you're working with okay. are outshining you, yeah. that means step it up. Yeah. Right? It's not tear them down, it's step it up. Yeah. So that uh, maybe that's what should have happened yeah. or uh that's what people should have understood from the situation. But maybe it was you know it's how like naysayers would be like, yo, I think this guy is trying to Trying to take it up from up from under you, so yeah. maybe some bad communication there in most relationships, anyway. Ah, back to the relationships. <laughs> also, okay, all right. I mean that that makes a lot of sense, but also the way you do it, the way you the, the breakup. For me, I feel like it it, it has to make sense. It like there's a, a lot that I think that is questionable in the breakup because you're in a team, um, you're you're shining. Or whatever, all of that has been brought to light right now. You, you guys are saying you're shining, you're in a team, and then you feel that this team is trash, or it doesn't go against, it goes against what I believe in. You understand? It goes against what I believe in, and then you want to leave. But then you don't, from inside the team, you don't trash the team. You leave the team, and then you, from outside the team, because you just, just the sign of, just the sign of you leaving the team. Uh, kind of shows how you feel about the performance of the team. Yeah. Yeah. I do not stand against. I do not stand behind what this team believes in. So I'm gonna step aside. This is why you have all these senators in America, or whatever. When they when they feel that these things, these things, this is not what I believe in, they resign. And then then from there you start to make your stand. What Rather I, than from inside, because now I already said we now haven't had an active vice president for a minute because. He's still working from in, internal affairs. Like he's still inside the team. You understand? He's still the vice president. For you to think that Jilima nice. is yeah. still... Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> hey. Whoa. Easy. Take your time. No. Take your time. Easy, easy, easy. easy. <laughs> to think like Jilima is still in the team just because he still holds that position, I find it strange. Cause but, he, but he is. It, like, no, he's paper, not in the on team. On paper, right? On paper. Nah, on he's paper, still, he's still vice Who cares he's about the paper? He's still vice president. It does. It matters, cause does does it matter? Say, yeah, if you're receiving you say, a salary, what, what, then... Okay, what, what I want to say is, quick, if you, you want to defeat something, it's easier to do it from the inside. So, like, to... to like, quick, quick question. No. I think this is a good example. You're married. Yeah. You find a girl outside the marriage and you're like, ah, easy. I'm not gonna get divorced. That's 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 like this that's, guy that's clearly one thing. foot yeah, that's it is one thing. foot in that's inside, one foot that, outside. That like commit. Commit. The thing, thing. The the thing is thing. being a vice president, being a vice president, you're not serving DPP. Being a vice president you're getting their money, right? You're oh, not sorry, getting, sorry, sorry. Being a vice can, can I just like Yeah, yeah go ahead. Get, yeah. Being a vice president, you're the vice president, not of DPP, you're the vice president of the nation. So if you feel like what DPP is doing and DPP is representing yeah. is not doing the best for the nation, you can indeed say, I am not with DPP anymore, but I still want to serve my nation to the best of my ability. But if I resign from my position, I will let go of some privileges, some resources that would help me in doing the best for my country. So let me not let go of these. Let me just let go of the party. That's what I feel, Jirima. I get, yeah, I get that makes sense in a sense. But for me, I think we talked about this on the yeah. car as well. That for me, like, because I don't know all this information. So for yeah. me to really believe this guy, I would have to seem like let it all go. Like I'm out completely. I'm yeah. not. Like, I'm like I'm letting go of all this stuff. I didn't know Goody he could like let go of some okay. privileges. But like, and have oh, but, I respect yeah. that position. But like, that's, okay, that's back, what, back, back exactly. to the whole like. And I respect that position. All this. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I have to you know tie back to the relationships. It's it's complicated, right? I I, I really stand with what Ot saying. Like you. You need some of the resources, some yeah. of the manpower, yeah. some of whatever, some of the access yeah. to change some things. But at the same time, it's like if you're still receiving from them, can we really trust you? But yeah. you just have to no, trust. Okay. Not from them. That's what I'm getting at. It's not from DBP. No, it's but not, the it's thing not, is, there's but still, but even in, in the government, there's still a hierarchy. Are you no, DBP? no, hold on, hold on. This is not. Uh, there's still a hierarchy in the government. Yeah, there's still where, a hierarchy. No, no, in the hold government. on, hold on. So what? There's still a hierarchy where you independent. Yo, the country. Oti, calm down. 
It's supposed to be independent from the country. No, I can't not, say he's getting shit from DBP because that's it's not DBP giving him the the government. It's DBP. I'm passionate. This is this is something. Yeah. All right. Future. Hold on. So the so the the thing about it is my point is. Yeah, there's a hierarchy in the government where you have yeah. a head of state, then you have his vice yes, president, president, and, yeah, and yeah. you have that. So this is in the in the o, OT is a, is If you have a hierarchy, those guys are only facilitating. It's not coming from them. It's coming from you, the Malawian citizen. Yes. So it's not their money or their resources. No, you will it's notice. The resources of us. Yeah, you will notice that I didn't. I'm not mentioning a party at all. Yeah. The, for me, I'm I'm talking about the government. No, I, I understand. No, my point is... It's government it's and not, vice I'm president. looking at the government, head of state, vice president. The, the vice president still has to answer the head of state. So if you in, are in a fight with your boss or you do not agree with what your boss is saying, I feel like you, it's better and, and I would trust you more if you step away. And that's what I think. I'm not looking at Goody, yeah. you're getting money from his party or, yeah. or all of that. I'm saying that you, do, do, you definitely disagree with yeah. your boss's frame of thought yeah. so if you the action of you stepping away gives me some sort of respect to some you confidence, yes, so some a confidence. lot of confidence to you as a person so it's not about where his money is coming from or what is it my thing yeah. is you can't yeah there's no sides here hold on hold, no on, hold on I think I think we all have a clear yeah. we have clear opinions there are two yeah. sides and I think we've all expressed them so I think we can Let's wrap, Let's wrap yeah. it up. Let's wrap it up. Let's wrap up. We, 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 we'll continue yeah. this in the comments. We'll continue this yeah, in the comments. Okay, continue. so if you're going to wrap it up, wrap it up in a neutral sense. Don't wrap it up to say you got the last word. No, so, no, so no. Fine, you get the, like, word. No, get the last word. I don't want to get the last word. We're I, giving I, you the last I, word. I just want like the whole wrap up. To wrap yeah, up, yeah. you need to wrap it up. Not just say, okay, we've moved on. Just wrap it up and then we move on. Fair enough. Okay, so. So we're done. Conclusion. We're that wrapping relationships up. Relationships are complicated. Whether you're dating an older man yeah. or an older just, woman. Just ah, older man, the president? <laughs> <laughs> just, just the last comment. Although you say, like, it's just your relationships are complicated, this is deep because the relationship affects a lot of kids, yeah, man. A lot, a lot yeah, of the, kids, The kids man. always suffer, man. A lot of kids. I'm a suffering. Lot. It'll, be, it'll be something if it's like, oh, it's just affected two kids. Yeah, yeah you know, that sucks. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. but now it's like, yo. 17 million kids, <laughs> bro. A lot of us, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. True, true, true. Yeah, man. Uh, and also, th- my thinking is, uh, it's, it's been a good debate and all of that, uh, yeah. especially the last part. There's yeah. a lot of factors that go into it. You can look at... Uh, apart from just the the main people that you're talking about, look yeah. at the team they're selecting, yeah. the, the team they're growing. Uh, what if one person ends up not liking his new team? Yeah. Things like that. There's a lot of things that we could talk about. This is just our thoughts. It's, yeah. it's nothing really political, but I feel like yeah. I feel like we still have to care because you know one day it will affect us. What if they're like, oh, artists must stop creating art unless it's chan 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 chan. Yeah. Then it's, it's gonna affect us. Yeah. So yeah. Um, Yo, big up. Listen, to tell us what you guys think in the comments. Uh, please, please. Yeah, yeah like please. the first guy to comment gets a t-shirt. List, list them. List them t-shirt. Yeah. Like me, yeah. It might, it might have a... If it, if it comes a, from OT, it might have Chilima's face on it. So be careful. Nah, it's, from the, it's from the podcast. <laughs> yeah, it have Zaluso. Let's, yeah, 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 yeah. let's do this. Since OT is just throwing out promotion, I think since we talked about this already, let's say something like, this might change. Let's say something like 10th episode. People who comment get a chance to feature yeah. on yeah, the yeah, podcast. Yeah, yeah, there's, yeah. There's, there's been people who have like, been asking. Everyone wants to feature. Uh, Every, personally, yeah. we, we have nothing wrong with you guys featuring. Uh, we just wanted to be. It just we just wanted to make sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It should be controlled. Yeah. It should be an environment where we can still be ourselves. Yeah. Have our normal discussions. Um, yeah. We don't need to be for you to promote yourself or whatever. We it should be something that makes sense. Could like resonate with the people who exactly. are listening. Yeah. Exactly. So, um, so we're, we're done. No? We, we can go. Yeah. Um, wow. That was crazy. Uh, yeah, thanks for thanks for the conversation, guys. I feel like I'm gonna have a lot to think about today. Yeah, definitely. Uh, so let's wrap up. Uh, any last words? with the host with the most. Matt with all the K and a tickle. Miko with an X. O T O T. See you next week, and we're out.
Let's go. All right, all right, all right. Don't forget to check out www.zalusoarts.com. Um, we're looking forward to hearing back from you guys. Um, yeah. Uh, make life worth living still ongoing we're still at it more things coming your way yeah. please check us out check out colors of the mind while you're at it colors of the mind yeah. cooking show coming soon and uh, something special around the city something special around the city yeah, nice. so like this will just fade away like we're still talking and then uh, how about <laughs> how about we fade away by <laughs> walking away from the mic uh, yeah. so, I will never fade away, away. I, 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 I'll never fade away